this week, probably going to be a few of your classmates walking around with blue on. How does, uh, does that bother you? The same thing with those kids? I've been telling you about that a little bit. Oh, yeah, it definitely bothers me. Um, you go to, they come to Western Kentucky, why would you wear UK stuff? Um, I know last spring we were uh, we got known for uh, booing a girl out of the, uh, the fresh foods, and then, so uh, I'm sure you can uh, expect some of that going on this week. Do you guys take that as like a sign of disrespect? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, why would you do that? Uh, you go, you pay to go to school here. Um, we expect you to come to games here. Um, so yeah, I think it's definitely a sign of disrespect to, to where you case them. You feel the same way, Keith? Yeah. Most definitely. You know, neither one of y'all are from the state, but what was your first reaction you got to Western and you saw people walk around in UK stuff, even before y'all start playing it every year? I mean, it's almost kind of a disappointment, I guess, that people would kind of wear their team's colors and cheer for that team pretty prominently. Well, it just, uh, I mean, like you said, I'm not from the state of Kentucky, so I, I really didn't know what to expect, but. Uh, I guess because they don't have a professional team, everybody just goes for them. I don't get it. Um, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, why would you go to the school and then wear something else? You would never do that at your high school, so what makes it okay to do it at college? It, it doesn't make sense to me. Well, Jack, after taking a look at the film at, of Alabama, um, you know, the, the theme kind of after the game was, you know, turn, turnovers aside, you guys played well. You know, how do you feel after maybe taking a look at some of that film? Um, you know, we... We feel like we moved, uh, we moved the ball okay. Um, I just feel like we didn't show uh, what our offense really is about and, uh, and our identity of you know taking care of the ball and you know controlling the clock and you know getting first downs. And we and we, we show signs of that, but it definitely wasn't a complete game. So we got a lot to improve on, and I'm just excited to get going this week because you know it's a big week, and I think uh, our guys will be ready to go. Hugh, do you feel like uh, this is your best chance to beat UK? You played them uh, three times. I think the first time you, I mean, you weren't on the team the first time, but uh, uh, each time seems like you've gotten closer. Uh, yeah, I think we got a good chance to beat them. Um, they have a really nice opportunity you know, in front of us. We uh, get in that family room and practice hard on the field. I think everything else will take care of itself. Jack, same question to you. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you can go by if you have, this is the best chance. You every game is different in its own little ways. Uh, they got a really good team. They run a three-four similar defense to Alabama, and uh, you know they're an SEC team. SEC team. Uh, people can't forget that. So, I mean, they're they're they got some really good guys that can run. So we got to really be on our on point if we want to we want to have a chance to win this game. Have you watched any series? Before? Yeah, I watched a little bit of the uh, Louisville game. The other uh, Sunday, I guess. Um, and yeah, they got they got guys that can run. They got D line that does a lot of movement and stuff. So our line is going to have to be really talking up there, and uh, you have to really use uh, good technique if you want to if you want to succeed against them. Looking at that loss last year, considering it was the UK, considering the chances that you guys had to the game, was that one of the more disappointing losses of your career here? Um, it's hard to rank losses, but. Uh, you know, those, you try not to look back on last year, but those four at the beginning of the season when they just kept adding on, those those really started to get to you, but then we, we turned it around. So we're just trying to bounce back from last week, and, uh, you know, if we, if we get back to the fundamentals and, like I said, play with proper technique, I think I think we can have a, a chance to move the ball on them a little bit. I know defense feels the same way. They can stop, stop a little bit. Is there a certain familiarity with Kentucky, maybe more than like maybe an Austin Peay or an Alabama, because you have played them in the last couple of years? I mean, yeah, I know some of the guys. You remember going against some of the guys, so you kind of know what what they like to do, and you've watched them on them the past two years or whatever. So uh, they had some young guy, and they have a DN that's played a lot recently, so I kind of remember him and what he likes to do. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's some familiarity with it's kind of like a Sun Belt team because you played them the last couple of years. What kind of statement do you think you guys have made, not just in the state level, but maybe even nationally, as people were looking to see this week that you guys went up there and beat Kentucky? You know, we're not really, we, we, we want to get that national identity, and, uh, you know, I'm sure that comes with it, but, you know, as a player, you don't really, you don't really think of that. You think of, you know, just doing your job, and if everybody can do their 
job, then you let the rest take care of itself. Q, you had those three sacks against Alabama. You think you got the chance to do the same thing this week? Yeah, uh, I have a chance. I mean, uh, go do the same things I did as far as preparing for uh, Alabama. You go do the same thing for UK. You know, I have a chance. You obviously didn't play against Austin Peay, so that was your first game. How did it feel to get back, back out there? I got to feel like you had some, some uh, uh, energy you wanted to, <laughs> to yeah. finally let go of. I mean, it was exciting, you know, getting back out there. It was an important game for me. Uh, this week is also an important game for me, so I'm going to bring the same juice. Do you expect UK to, maybe, <clears throat> to, to change up what they do and maybe keep a tight end in or something like that and pass protection based off the film of what you guys did last week to Alabama? I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, I really can't worry about that. I just got to, you know, go and watch this film and see what they, you know, put on the film against the last opponent and um, go from there. And uh, whatever they throw in front of me, I have to do. Any other questions, guys? Thank you, Jack. Appreciate it. Thanks.